So if you haven't known, I've been through the ringer with the longest Florida shuffle, which means that if the interventionist knows you have insurance money, they'll find reasons to keep you there forever. So Britney Spears, <laughs> oops, they did it to me too. I'm on your level. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Oops, they did it to me too. Britney, I'm on your level. I feel you. Bam Margera speaks out in defense of BJ of That Surprise Witness TV and BJ Investigates. BJ doesn't really go looking for causes. They seem to find her. Fans of Bam Margera reached out when they heard he was under a conservatorship slash guardianship, which is the same thing, despite Steve-O's opinion to the contrary. This is what led to BJ's investigation into BAM's guardian, Leva Yeremovich. BJ's first video on BAM was posted in February of 2022. BJ has gotten much grief for her coverage of BAM's situation. She spearheaded the free BAM movement and was called a conspiracy theorist. BAM's buddy, Steve-O, as well as his brother, Jess Margera, really pushed this narrative. They've belittled and mocked her, calling her a quote-unquote silly little maniac, among other things. I bet they were shocked when, in the spring of this year, 2023, a freed BAM contacted BJ and did a series of interviews. I will leave a link to those in the description below. He, like many of his true friends and fans, realized that BJ was really onto something and only wanted to help. While she may have mentioned the meritless and frivolous lawsuit Lima filed against her in late 2022, I don't think it really dawned on Bam just what that entailed until just recently. In a series of Instagram posts on his unofficial account, because he does not have access to his official account, Bam has decried Lima's actions, as well as a few others. All right, I just got some information, and you know what? This shit needs to get exposed right now because I just got a message from BJ, the surprise witness, aka the free BAM movement, who's been phenomenal, by the way, because she has actual documented proof of body cam footage and 911 calls from the interventionist Steve Timmer, who locked me up in the longest Florida shuffle, as, as well as Lima, my ex guardian. And Lima's on the phone on a 911 call saying, don't tell Bam, but we have to make it seem like we're on his side, but we have to lock him up and throw away the key. He's schizophrenic and armed and dangerous. First of all, I've never been armed and dangerous in my life. I'm not schizophrenic. When you say that to a police officer, that means don't believe a word they say. So what they do? 20 fucking laser beams of a SWAT team arrest me, take me to a mental institution. And I'm reading BJ's paperwork. She has 400 pages saying that, that me, Novak, and Steve-O are on Lima's side. I am not on Lima's side. I don't think Novak has no idea about this. And it also says that BJ has given me drugs. BJ is a lawyer, and I showed up at her house to do an interview with a couple red wine, and she was very disappointed in me. Everything in this paperwork is just a fucking fib. Fans will be happy to see the man once again on a skateboard. He seems to be finally living his best life, even though his own brother is currently taking legal action against him. Bam's family has taken over his house, known as Castle Bam, and doesn't want Bam anywhere near it. They would rather he continue his two years in rehab treatment centers with all of his rights taken away, it seems. All Bam really wants to do is to be able to see his son. Like Britney Spears, whose own sons were held over her head to get her to keep quiet and keep working, Bam's son has been used as bait. This is absolutely reprehensible, in my opinion. Children should never be weaponized. Shame on the custodial parents and any other family members that are complicit. As a parent myself, I can understand that being kept away from my child would certainly affect my mental and emotional health. I can see alternatively fighting like hell to see them and giving in or up in order to try and protect them from being used. The helplessness would be overwhelming.